Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm testing out three very simple kitchen gadgets. All of them have had multiple viewer requests. So let's see how they work in today's video. Now it's my intent for this to be a relatively short video. So there's no reason to delay any further. The first item I've got is this Apple Core. Now an Apple Core is a pretty simple device as it is, but I've had quite a few people tell me you've got to try this Apple Core. So I bought one and so today I'm giving it a shot. Let's take a look at the Zule Kitchen Apple Core. I paid $7.99 for this. Whatever that is. All right, this has a 4.7 star rating of nearly 15,000 reviews on Amazon. It comes in 18 different colors. The claims are that this is made of a sturdy, high quality stainless steel. They say it will not bend or break, can be used as a pitter or seed remover, 100% rust proof, ergonomic non-slip handle. Also works on pears or even cupcakes, the lever provides easy access and easy cleaning. All right, I'm looking forward to this one. There's always something oddly satisfying about coring an apple, and I've never tried this before, so a lot of people have. I've heard a lot of good things about this one. We shall see. It's got these teeth here, which are just kind of brutal looking. I'm gonna start with the small apples, head over to the medium, and we'll finish with the large. I even have a pear that I'll try to see how that works. I might even compare against this to see what the difference is. Let's start with the small red apples. Oh wow, it's like, it's cutting through it like butter. Wow, that was no problem. Look at this. Wow. Took a second, that was a clean cut. Look at that, wow. And does it come out easily? Let's see, it opens up, and it takes right out. After the first apple, I'm kind of impressed. Let's do another one. Here we go. Twist and push, wow, very simple. All right, I can see why people like this one. It's very effective, almost brutally effective with those big teeth on there. All right, let me try a medium one with, with the old school apple core and slicer. Now, now again, if you don't want slices, you don't really want to use something like this, but let's just try it anyways. Okay, so on this one, I tend to just kind of rock it back and forth to get it started, and then, hiya! Now, the only problem with these cores is that a lot of times, no matter how hard you push or how flush it gets, you, you do have that, and you kind of have to pick them off of here, which is not really a big problem. So this, one, this has the added bonus of being sliced as well. But once again, you don't always want slices. You can't use this to core without slicing it. Let's try the medium one with the apple core in question here. Pushing straight down, and it really doesn't take a lot of energy. Very little effort, very oddly satisfying, and the core comes right out. Let me fly through these two large ones. So far, so good. These are a little bit bigger. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at that clean, clean as a whistle, nothing in there. Pop that out. Okay, last one. Just to show you how the bottom looks, there, there it is coming out the other side. Core, gone. I can definitely see why people like this apple core, but let me try a pear and see how that works. All right, well, uh, there it goes. It worked. Uh, that was actually even easier, I think. All right, so the first test went pretty well. I would say this one meets the trifecta of a good kitchen gadget. It's effective, it's simple, and it's not too expensive. So in the end, I can see why so many people told me to try this apple core. It's very simple, very effective, inexpensive. If you don't mind that it doesn't create slices, this should be on your short list. Next up are a pair of gripper clips. These are kind of alternatives to pot holders. Let's see how they actually work. These are the Tapoco Dish Plate Bowl Clip Retriever Tongs. I paid $8.99 for a two pack. All right, so this one has a 4.2 star rating out of about 2,500 ratings. They say it's good for gripping hot or cold plates or bowls. Good for steamer baskets, hot plates, grabbing food from the microwave. Stainless steel head. They say it can lift up to five pounds, silicone pads will prevent slippage and also increase grip. They say to use two of these if you're lifting heavier items. So these gripper clips have been on my radar for quite a while. They've been on my spreadsheet of ideas for a couple of years now. So I'm in the process of testing out this Brava oven and I realized pretty quickly I could probably use something like these clips to get the tray out because the tray is pretty close to the bottom and hot. So let's see how they work. So with the Brava on the bottom tray here, you can see how close it is to the bottom. There's very little room. Using an oven mitt's still hard because your hand's really close to the bottom here. So I was really hoping I could use these grippers to get the tray out of here without burning my hand. So I can't really use one because there's not enough lip here, but on the sides it's larger, so 
You don't want to grab it from one side. Maybe I use two of them. Oh yeah. I mean, it feels pretty sturdy, especially when I have two of them. That feels pretty, so I don't feel like I would, I would drop it. So let's try some more things and see how it goes. A lot of people were saying they use these to get hot plates out of the microwave. Let's try that. Because it's curved, you're probably gonna have to do it this way, and not, not that way. So you're gonna reach in the microwave and grab it like this. So even though it feels sturdier than I expected, I still feel a little bit uneasy carrying it like that. Kind of looks like the Starship Enterprise a little bit. Let's see what happens when you try a plate that has kind of a curved edge to it. Here we go. Whoa, okay, this is a much heavier plate. Well, wow, it's, it is holding it. I don't feel overly confident in it, but it is holding it. My lack of confidence doesn't mean that it's not working though. Let's try something like this big pot right here. Now say, for example, this has been heated for whatever reason and you have to move it somewhere. Maybe this will work. Oh yeah, look at that, no problem whatsoever. That feels very sturdy. Let me fill it with water and try it again. Okay, now we've got a lot of water in here. It's much heavier now. Let's try it out. Oh wow, much heavier. And I have zero confidence in this. So am I impressed that it's working or should I not be impressed because I have no confidence in it? Hmm. All right, well, for small plates, it does work quite well. Before I finish, let's try a couple bowls now. It's kind of a generic bowl here. Let's see. I guess I'll grab it this way. Oh yeah, look, no problem with this. No problem. Try this one. Different, little different shape. Maybe even easier. That's no problem either. Now they say it can hold up to five pounds. Let me see. I got four pounds of weights here. Let's put it in there. Ooh. <laughs> that is, that's a stretch. Five pounds is a stretch. Now with two of them, it shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah. Very easy with two of them. I would say five pounds is a bit suspect with just one. But overall, these worked better than I thought they were going to. I've used other things like this in the past that were abysmal. These actually do pretty well. I think that the good ratings are well deserved. Next up is an interesting item. It's actually a grocery bag dispenser. Let's check it out. All right, this is the Simple Human Grocery Bag Dispenser. I paid $29.99 for this. It's like some mounting screws here. 10 year warranty, that sounds pretty nice. All right, this one has a 4.8 star rating out of almost 30,000 ratings on Amazon. Multiple mounting options in the back here from 3M tape to some mounting screws. The claims are that it holds 30 grocery bags for clutter-free storage, mounts on the wall, under a shelf, or inside a cabinet, stalls with screws, or adhesive. All right, it's pretty light. It's not the heaviest gauge steel I've ever, I've ever felt. I worry about fingerprints on this front part here, but let's go find a place to uh, put this and get started. So even though they have two different mounting options, right now I just have it on the wall with command strips because I'm not sure where I want to eventually have this. I might have it underneath my cabinet later on. We shall see. But let's see what we got here. I'm going to, it's empty. I'm going to put some bags in here and see how it goes. They say it can hold 30. I'm going to put 30 in there and see what happens. Might take a minute. Two, three, four. This might be time for some fast motion. All right, so I got good news and bad news. The good news is this is 25 bags. They all seem to fit. I'm pretty sure I could fit five more in there. The bad news is I thought I brought 30 bags and I didn't. So we're gonna have to go with 25, but the 25 looks good. I'm not sure where to take, I guess just take one right from the middle. Not bad. I can see how this would pull the adhesive off the wall. The only real complaints about this were with the adhesive. Anybody who mounted it with the screws didn't seem to complain about it. It's a simple idea, but it seems to work quite well. It's much more elegant than what I have. In my house, I've got a cabinet full of these and it looks awful. So I'm, not only am I gonna probably use this one at the apartment, I might buy a second one for my house because this is much better. And they're coming out of here nicely. So hey, I think this works. Now let's see what happens when we uh, pull a bunch out of the bottom and want to add more. Oh yeah, no problem. All right, I, it's, it's extremely simple, but man, this is a good idea. You kind of see some fingerprints on there. See how easy they come off. Oh, not too bad. I mean, it's one more thing to clean, but at least it seems like the fingerprints come off pretty easily. So most kitchen gadgets I test out end up in a drawer or out in the boneyard. This one, 
I'm gonna keep using. So as far as the bag dispenser goes, it's something I've wanted to try for a while. I tried a different one a while back. It was so bad, it didn't even work well enough for me to put it into a video. This one I'm actually pretty happy with and I think I'm gonna continue to use it. All right, so in the end, I think all of these did very well. I can see why I got requests for all of them. I'm gonna to continue to use these as well. If you've tried any of these products, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.